guys, so today I'm going to be doing the ride or die makeup tag. Firstly, I haven't done a tag in such a long time, I used to love doing tag videos and I really enjoy watching them. And also, I love the idea of this video, I've watched loads of everybody else's videos of these. And I just love the idea that it's your like holy ground makeup products and stuff that you really rely on. And your favourite makeup products of like all time. So I'm going to go through all of the bits that I have chosen that are my holy grail products and talk to you guys about the things that I love. So I tried really hard to only pick one product for each category, I just think it's so difficult to only pick one. Uh, but I am going to like throw in some honourable mentions here and there for each category. The first thing that I've got here is a primer and this is the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base. It's their mattifying primer and I absolutely love this. I use this practically every day. I do use other primers, um, specifically from Smashbox. I've got a few of their primers that I really do like. But this one I just love, I love the finish of it. I love how it goes on I feel like it really prolongs the wear of my, of my makeup and I can really tell when I've got this on versus another primer especially with the wear of my foundation I'm not saying it makes it last like an extra six hours but it does make it last that extra half an hour or hour and just makes everything look a little bit better throughout the day and that's what I like a primer to do so yeah I love this for foundation, I've gone for an oldie but a goodie. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. However, the other day I did try to apply this after kind of a summer of not really wearing it because the shade's too light for me, like in the summer. I went to apply this and I was like, oh my god, why is it not going on right? So I kind of just stopped applying it and used something else. However, it is something I absolutely love. I haven't used it in a few months, but I do love this foundation. However, one that I do want to give a huge honourable mention to, which I feel like should be here with this foundation, but I forgot to get it out of my drawers. <laughs> Um, is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation, the one that matches this, the mattifying one. Honestly, it is amazing. For a drugstore foundation, it is absolutely phenomenal. You would never know. You could put it in the packaging of any high-end foundation and you would think it was high-end. It's an amazing foundation and I think it really does rival the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. But the type of foundation that I like are both of these two, like a long-wearing mattifying foundation that just looks good all day and stays on my face. And both of them are really, really great foundations. This one is one that I reach for more in the winter months just because it is a heavier foundation and I feel like it works really well in the cold months. My skin can really dry out in the winter months and just not look not that great with the wind and the rain and all that kind of stuff especially living in Manchester and, and so I feel like this just really repels it I feel like it still looks great at the end of the day and that's something I really look for in a foundation. For concealer again I've gone for a complete classic one this is the collection Last Imperfection Concealer Although I love many of the concealers and I recently got the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer which I absolutely love, I've used the NARS Creamy Concealer before, this one is just one that I go back to again and again, probably because it's cheap and it's easy to repurchase, but I just love it, I think it really works and I feel like yes the higher end concealers are really good, but for the price I feel like this one is just my holy grail, like if you got rid of every other concealer in my life and just left me with this one I'd be completely content with it, I'd be fine, um, and I had this, this one in the shade one and this one's the one I use underneath my eyes um, but I have like every other shade that's in my drawers just for like other times of the year and stuff and it's probably one of the reasons I reach for it the most because I just have so many of them um, and I find them so accessible and so easy to use and they just work on my skin and also underneath my eyes so I love these. Now the next category is face powder and one that I want to give a real mention to is the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Block Powder. I absolutely love it however it smashed the other day so I, I currently haven't got it I need to go and repurchase it. However, that's a great one for throughout the day for blossom affination and just making everything look perfect. However, I also want to mention the MAC Studio Fix Powder. It's one that I've really got into recently. I've had it for a long time, um, but I kind of lost touch with it. I didn't really use it. And I've gone back to this recently for setting my foundation. It gives me a little bit more coverage on top of my concealer and my foundation. It just sets it perfectly for when I apply my blush and my bronzer. But I do really like the Save and Glory one as well for kind of like blotting and stuff throughout the day. I just need to repurchase that one. Now on to bronzer, again I really struggled with this one, I have picked Benefits Hula Bronzer because I do absolutely love this, um, it is one of my favourite products and I can use it both summer and winter and I love the shade of the bronzer, it's kind of like nice and bronzy without being too orange, with also without being too cool toned, I find my skin tone is quite warm anyway and I feel like when I use kind of like an ashy contoury shade that a lot of other people like, it just looks really grey on me, um, so I do like one that's slightly more 
more warm. I love this for bronzing and contouring. One that I do want to give a little mention to though is NARS Laguna Bronzer. I was really between this and Laguna as to which one to pick because I love both of them. However, I feel like they're both completely on par in my life with the bronzer stakes. So I picked this one. Blusher was probably the easiest category for me. These are the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushers. I absolutely adore this palette. Like literally you could take every other blusher away and I would just use this for the rest of my life. And more specifically, this shade at the end. Uh, what shade is this one? Um, I don't know. I think it's Mood Exposure, but I'm not into, it's either Mood Exposure or Luminous Flush, depending on which way the uh, the names go on the back. Um, but it's more of like a mauvey shade. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. But all the shades in this palette are just amazing and they're amazing blushes. So yeah, 100% these are my Holy Grail blushes. For highlighter, we had to go for Becca Champagne Pop. It is so bloody beautiful. Um, my cousin Liv is going to New York though, actually. She'll probably be in New York when this video goes up. Um, and I've asked her to get me the Anastasia um, Glow Kit in That Glow, I think it is. And yes, yeah, so that could very quickly become my Holy Grail highlighter. But yeah, I love this. I think it's so beautiful. I've actually got like a dent in it now, which is a big deal for me to have a dent in a specific product. I also do use the Sleek Solstice palette here and there. Um, I also really want the Urban um, Decay Sin highlighter, but it seems to be out of stock like everywhere. Um, but yeah, this is perfect. I adore this. For my mascara, I had to go for the Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara. This is the waterproof version. My holy grail would probably be the normal version. Even though this is great at being waterproof, it's really difficult to get off. I have to use an oil-based makeup remover to get this mascara off. And it's just a bit frustrating having to use, like, one makeup remover for my eyes and another one for my face. I prefer to just use, like, the same cleanser for my face and my eyes. So I would go for the normal version generally, but I just have this one in my collection currently. I love this mascara. I think it's fantastic for being a drugstore mascara. And it is 100% one the best ones that I've ever tried. It just makes my lashes look fantastic. And I do like vary my mascara day to day. Um, it's, unless like I'm going to like a special occasion or I really want my mascara to like stay on and look great all day, then I will go for this one. I do use the ones here and there, but this one just always is the best. One thing I found weird in this tag is there's no category for eyeliner or brows. So I've just made one for eyeliner and brows because I feel like for me that they're a big part of my makeup routine. Um, and so I thought I would mention both of them today. So there's actually a new eyeliner that has taken my love and has replaced my one pound Poundland eyeliner that I was absolutely obsessed with. This is a Rimmel eyeliner. I did get this sent to me a couple of weeks ago actually. It's really, really new in my life. And this is the Rimmel Scandalized Precision Micro Eyeliner. It's beautiful. It's a tiny, tiny little nib. I got sent two this one's definitely my favorite and not a big fan of the other one the tip on the other eyeliner just isn't really that great whereas this one is such a small tip it's so black and it goes matte it stays on so long it's like a felt tip eyeliner and i'm just in love with it i think it's fantastic i feel like even with this i would probably be able to create a wing i haven't tried because i don't actually really like wing eyeliner on me but i struggle to do it and so that's one of the reasons why i don't really do it that often if i did it more often i feel like i'd prefer it on me if that makes any sense um but yeah i absolutely love love this it's great you should definitely give it a go and then for brows we all know what i'm gonna say the anastasia dip brow pomade i absolutely love this i still need a new one of these every single time i do a video and i mention it i say i need a new one i actually made an order on beauty bay the other day as well and i didn't even order one i don't really know why i didn't order one um but yeah i've actually been using something different for my brows recently because i really do need a new one um but yeah this is like my absolute holy grail i love it um it just makes my brows look so like sleek and it's just really precise it's lovely you can create kind of a really really thick kind of bold brow or you can create something a little bit more subtle and I just really like the way it looks. Now for my holy grail lipstick I had to stick with MAC and this is MAC's Velvet Teddy Lipstick. Um, literally look how much I've got left. I've got the tiniest amount left ever. I am in love with this lipstick. It is my absolute favourite. Um, it's a matte finish from MAC and oh my god I just love it. It's the perfect shade. So easy to pair with so many things. I feel like as I got more into liquid lipsticks the past couple of months I haven't worn this as much but last week I pulled it out again and I was like oh my god I'm just so in love with it and um, so I'm going to use it more often but it's so easy to just throw on if I have it in my bag it's just one that I can pair with any makeup look and I know it will look fantastic so I absolutely adore this 
For the liquid lipstick category, I found it quite difficult because for me, I haven't had liquid lipsticks for that long. I feel like they've been a much bigger thing in America and I really haven't got my hands on them until the past couple of months. I got a load of Colourpop ones when Colourpop came to the UK and I did a huge Colourpop order. I will leave the little thing up here for that if you want to go and watch the um, Colourpop haul and lip swatch video that I did. Um, but yeah, I really like those ones and I've actually got one of the Colourpop ones on now. However, I do prefer the Kylie Jenner liquid lipsticks. Um, I have three of these. I got Dolce K um, a couple of months ago. My auntie actually had it and she really didn't like it so she gave it to me which I was so grateful for and then Bradley actually got me um, Coco K and Candy K for my birthday. Now this is Candy K in my hand now but I like all of the shades equally as much to be honest and I feel as though because I've only had Coco K and Candy K for literally like three weeks I feel like they can't be like my all time favourite liquid lipstick but at the same time I feel like liquid lipsticks haven't been around that long in my life for there to be a one holy grail liquid lipstick anyway does that make any sense <laughs> i kind of go between the three anyway but i feel like i probably use candy k the most in the past couple of weeks so i'm gonna go with this one and then for lip gloss i absolutely love the dior lip maximizer collagen active lip gloss it's so pretty and basically it just plumps your lips up a little bit um it's such nice packaging i love it it looks so luxurious i actually got this as a present from my stepsister and i love it um i just pop a little bit kind of in the center of my lips if i want to wear lip gloss i don't wear lip gloss very often so it's something that I don't really use that often I don't really have that many choices uh, but this one is one that I will always reach for um, I just really like the effect of it and it's not sticky at all but it stays on all day it's just a really really good lip gloss that is all the categories covered in the ride or die makeup tag I really enjoyed the film this video for you guys I love talking through all my holy grail products and things that I love so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video too if you have enjoyed the video please give it a big thumbs up down below and also if you're not subscribed to my channel please do the button is just down below and I would love 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 for you to be part of our little family on here so thank you very much for watching guys and I will speak to you next time bye